Inferior alveolar nerve block is one of the most commonly used nerve block techniques in dental clinics. The indication of inferior alveolar nerve block is to extraction of multiple teeth or any other dental procedures which involves multiple teeth. Before going to the procedure, it's necessary to know the anatomy of inferior alveolar nerve. Inferior alveolar nerve is a branch of mandibular nerve and it passes through the mandibular foramen. It's ideal to give the injection right before the inferior alveolar nerve passes through the mandibular foramen. And uh, according to the textbooks, it's, it's usually from uh, 15 to 20 mm above the occlusal pain. And it differs with kids and, you know, uh, geriatric patients. But uh, for, for adults, it's generally above the occlusal plane. And the areas which are anesthetized are from the central incisors to the third molars. So these are the areas which are anesthetized. And the nerves which are anesthetized are the mental nerve, the incisive nerve, the lingual nerve, and the inferior alveolar nerve, of course. And apart from giving inferior alveolar nerve, it's also necessary that you have to give a buccal nerve block to anesthetize the buccal vestibule of the first, second and the third molars. So this is an essential procedure to be to be carried whenever you give inferior alveolar nerve block. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the procedure. So it's always between the first and the second premolar. You have to place the syringe and you have to go straight. Once you hit the bone and you deposit the local anesthesia. Let me show you in this angle. It's always between the first and the second premolars. Press the syringe there and inject the needle. Go straight. Once you hit the bone, just retract the needle. Check for positive aspiration. Once it's negative, and deposit. That's it. IA and nerve block. So place the syringe between the first and the second premolar and retract the pterygomandibular raphe. And the height of injection should be about 15 to 20 mm above the occlusal plane. If you go more superior, it's, it's well and good because of the anatomical variations of the mandibular foramen. Once you hit the bone, retract the needle, look for any positive aspiration. If there's no positive aspiration, start depositing the local anesthesia. And you might also want to turn the needle towards the occlusal plane for depositing the local anesthesia for the lingual nerve and once it's done you can give a long buccal nerve block that's everything thank you for watching